Hey, this is Ricky Carolyn Sickards. So, the main question we have today for this video is should you use a heater for your African cichlids? You know, you may have a little temperature gauge, one of those old school type. It's got a little green gauge. The green gauge starts around 70, 72, and goes up to about 82. So, a lot of people are thinking 72 degrees is just fine. And that's room temperature. So we're going to go over some of the reasons why you should use the heater and what happens if you don't use the heater. And when I'm going to be doing this, we're going to be looking at some cool fish. So if you don't want to hear about the heater stuff, you get to look at my juvenile yellow top Mabuna. And then you might pick up something new on the heaters that you may not know. So let's go ahead and kick it off with some Mabuna footage and some information that you may use in the future or right now that will save your fish or improve your fish or just make you more uncomfortable with what you're doing. So let's check out this video. So the reason for this video is because even though I've been in the hobby for over 30 years I can tell you now that it's very easy to make some rookie mistakes. People go around, they act like they're experts on the hobby, and, and I'm sure they do the same thing as me. They, they screw up on something that may, they may already know <clears throat> is not real smart and still do it anyways. And sometimes they try things they think they know is the best way to do things. It turns out it's not. So for this Mabuna colony right here, this is the juveniles from the main adults that I've had in many videos. This is actually the offspring of that. And they're coming out pretty good right now. But up until a few days ago, in many of my aquariums, I decided, hey, let's see if they will do alright without using the heater. So let me tell you some of the things that happened when I quit using the heaters in some of my aquariums. Alright, because I've gotten many uh, people in the hobby on YouTube and stuff that said, Hey, unplug them. You know, as long as it doesn't get below a certain room temperature, you'll be fine. Alright, so what happened here when I did this for the Mabunas? Well, for one... Uh, there was less activity. There's a lot of activity now. There's, uh, you can tell which ones are the males. You see that's the main male. That's the alpha male right there. And he's looking really good. But there's a few of them here. You see the stripes forming here. Let me get my finger there. On that couple of them right here. You can still, and that one over here actually looks pretty good. You couldn't even tell that that was a male up until a few days ago when I plugged in the heater. So what happened was there was less activity. The coloration was pretty much well none. Uh, like this, the main alpha male you see right here uh, was pretty well drab. Not looking stunnish like it is right now. And they were mostly just staying down here on the bottom and not doing as much activity as you see now. When I'm talking about activity, I'm talking about a little bit of chasing action, normal fish action uh, for your Mabuna cichlids. So there's a lot less activity, a lot less, lot less coloration. So, you know, that may not be the most important thing for using the heater, but... Uh, I was very surprised when I, of a few days ago, I plugged my heater back in and the coloration just became outstanding. The activity improved by tenfold. And the biggest thing I thought was really interesting is their appetite went up like crazy. Where before I would sit put some food in there at the top of the aquarium and they would wait for it to go to the bottom let it drift down I thought well they're just kind of uh, 
shy fish, little skittish fish, you know. They don't want to go to the top. Well, that was not the case. The case was when I turned up, uh, you know, got the heater going. As soon as I had the heater going for a few days, they were going for the food like crazy, eating way more food. So that's going to improve your growth rate of your cichlids. So a heater is going to improve your growth rate of your cichlids. Also coloration. And then also, they will not actually breed, uh, or as much breed, uh, when it's a lower temperature. So if you think about it, if they're not breeding, and it's not a good temperature for the babies to be raised in the mouth, it's not good for the adult fish as well. So even though on your little temperature gauge, they maybe have an old school uh, thermometer, you really need to have it up at least the 78 to 82 to have these African cichlids do great. So what's another reason to use the heater? Well, you know, I've not had any problems with ick in, I don't know, 15 years, I guess. I've been re rarely lucky. But what you can do, uh, your ick, your parasites, your diseases, uh, you know, your immune system, just like the fishes, you know, may go down in colder weather when the temperature is colder. So the fish are acting just like humans. When it's colder, their immune system is down. Uh, and also, uh, the, those things like parasites and diseases can thrive. So, this will improve your immune system and your fish if you use the heater. Now I realize some people have used heaters and they've exploded and killed all their fish and they can be fairly expensive and only last a year or two so it is very beneficial to invest in a good heater. And a question I have for my viewers today is what heater do you like the best? Now I've used different types and I uh, and I, I've had some favorites here recently, but they've made in the last few years since I've stopped buying them because all mine's lasted a pretty long time. They've made a lot more brands and different types of heaters. And I want to know some uh, feedback on some of the heaters that you use uh, and tell me which ones you like and so forth or which ones to stay away from. You don't want a heater to like stay on and go up to 100 degrees and hot or fry your fish, especially if you've paid several hundred dollars for your fish, or if you've taken you know two years to raise these fish and then have them fried by a heater. That that's really rough on a person. Uh, it takes a lot out of a person. I recently uh, I've lost some fish because of you know careless mistakes and uh, you know when you use, lose one because of a heater and you, you know you think what could I have done uh, it's, a, it's a little bit harder to, to deal with that you know if you make a careless mistake you know it was you but if it's a heater uh, that kind of makes you want to not use a heater but I'm telling you all the good things that the heaters will do beneficial for your African cichlids and especially if you have look here plants now the yellow tops don't bother the plants in this aquarium now I've had other mambunas that will just tear into your plants and you'd be wasting money to put in there but these work pretty good the yellow tops and your plants will grow better uh, the root systems will be healthier with the heater and so overall, your aquarium is going to be in better shape. Now in this aquarium, I happen to use a mat and filtration system. And I also have a DIY uh, algae scrubber on it. And let me just give you one second here and show you the scrubber. So I don't have this one professionally done right yet, but it's working so far. I have this light here sitting on this aquarium, shot on the back of this matten filter, and starting to grow the algae. In a few more weeks, it will be growing tremendously great. 
uh, light doesn't get into the aquarium at night time because of the way it's shining and so forth uh, and uh, I leave that light on 24 hours a day it takes care of my nitrates so let's recap why should you use a heater you know you're gonna have a better health of your fish they're gonna have a better appetite they're gonna grow faster because they eat more they're gonna have more resistance to diseases and to parasites because of the higher temperature because they don't the diseases and the parasites don't do as well in the higher temperatures so your fish are going to be healthier so they're going to be growing faster they're going to be looking better and better coloration your fry uh, are they actually going to have some better breeding going on the fry is going to grow faster the fry is going to be bigger your plants are going to grow big and strong and root system which will make the aquarium do good your algae and your algae scrubber if you decide to have algae scrubber in your aquarium will grow better and faster and will allow you to get more nitrates out of your aquarium so that's all the positives of an aquarium heater and for your African cichlids now there is still the case where you could have a heater that could explode or stay on too long that's why I want your all's feedback and what you use and the ones that did not work good for you, the ones that have. So let me know in the comments below which ones you like and which ones you've had the, you know, bad experiences with. It's not nothing that you've done. It was a product that did something bad for your fish. So let other hobbyists know which ones did good and which ones did not do good. I appreciate you watching this video. If you didn't learn anything about you know why to use an aquarium heater and your Africans for your African cichlids. I hope you enjoyed looking at my yellow top Mabuna juveniles because they're looking great, doing great, and I hope to have more videos on here showing you the increased coloration of these cichlids. Again, thanks again for watching Richie Kennedy Cichlids. And remember, an aquarium heater for cichlids can really make the difference.